Hey everybody, Mike Wrench Mike. We are finished with our undisclosed location. We're back at Copart, and I found a car that's older than me. Imagine that. Yeah, this old girl. How much older do you think she is than me, Mr. Randy, sir? I think she's the same age. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. What is yeah. it? 57? 57? 50, no, it's going to be like a 54. I think y'all look the same at it. Age. Well, here she is. I'll show you the bad part. Let's figure out what she is, though, first. 54 Chevy Bel Air. Who's had a tough life? Look. Her eyelashes are coming off. Yeah. She's had a bit of an accident. It looks like something from above. That's kind of cool looking, though. I you know? I've seen paint shatter. Look at that. Yeah, so there's some Bondo, some all kinds of stuff under here, as you can see. But look at that. Something just dropped right on top of her. I don't know if I can even open the door. You think? Okay, well, they open. Fancy steering wheel. Ooh, a big bench seat, baby. And look at this. Look at those instruments. The instrument cluster. I kind of like it in here. Air conditioning, climate control center. Can we try to start this? Is that my head hits it? My head hits the top. Is this, it is automatic. No, it's dead. She's a goner. Randy says she's not gonna run and he knows why. But wow. Oh, yowza. Okay. This doesn't belong under here. Someone just threw a junk motor <laughs> under the hood so that it had an engine. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look at this. R it's not even. That's a junk motor. And the wow. AC. Wow. That was the, uh, <coughs> that's the expensive AC that you get from like Vintage Air. Mm-hmm. Oh, they took they all of that. There's, all the, there's nothing hooked up. They just dumped the motor in here and sent it. Look at the steering linkage. That's <laughs> not supposed to be like that. Look, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, they, Holy they, moly. they claimed insurance on it and uh... <laughs> What is wrong with people these days? What? There's no There's no exhaust that doesn't go anywhere does it? No, 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 they took it they all literally just threw it in here Wow I'm sorry well, I'm sorry know. little girl They even bonded I bet this was a great car back in the day. Look at that. Yeah. Bondo under the hood? Wow. And look and look at the quality. There's no orange peel in the paint or no, anything. Oh, it was shiny. Oh my gosh. This is sad. Okay. Well, 54 Chevy. I hope you had a good run. It's over for me now. I like the tires and the wheels. She got hit this way. She hit something and then something landed on her. And something hit it in the back. Yeah, and something oh hit it gosh. in the side too because that whole quarter panel's crushed. Wow. I mean, this this thing got hit from every direction. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Carnage everywhere. Let's move on as we try to find Monkey Wrench Mike another car. Here's another car I'm thinking about. Yep, she's a big girl. I may have to name this one Obama or Oprah or make even more people upset. Yeah, yeah, because I did that with my other black one and people just hated it. Yeah, it actually, looks presidential. it does look presidential. I call it Obama. 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 Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you know, Randy has a been he's been a great influence on me. <laughs> We're gonna find Fords out. Fords and Chevys. Fords and Chevys galore, baby. No, this is an 07 Cadillac Escalade. Cue the horn right there, it was perfect. I've been looking at these, all right, because my GL450, I hate to say it, she's very temperamental. I like to listen to music, and she doesn't all the time. And I like for her to go places, and she doesn't all the time. And I like for the suspension to suspend, and it doesn't all the time. So I'm thinking maybe this would be a good little car to haul stuff with. You could buy this and sell your GL for more than you paid for this and still have money in your pocket. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And when That's things really break, what I'm it's not really that hard to fix anything. Right. Imagine that. Yeah. And this thing will pull a house. Yes. So we've already determined she has 
cool wheels. She has four matching tires, which is nice. A hundred and thirty some thousand. Hundred and thirty seven something thousand miles on the odometer. She's a CDS, which means it's a dealer, and in our vast experience, we've kind of determined that she may be a repo. Which would be fine. It would be fine. The only thing 138,000. No odometer. So it could be like 238,000. That was a previous listing? Yeah. They fixed it and corrected it oh. with the odometer. Oh, okay. Randy's done some research. I think Randy wants Look this here. car too. It says no keys. Oh. So this was listed before probably as a repo and they didn't have keys to it. Uh huh. And they paid a locksmith to come out and put keys to it. Or oh. they got the keys back from the person they repoed it from. Yeah. Okay. It's well, a rebuilt title. It's a rebuilt title. She's dirty, but that's cleanable. The only thing is, you know, what kind of an enchilada would cause that? You know, what kind of a blowout? <laughs> Randy's staying out of this. He doesn't want to say anything. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yes. Or in my case, Arby's. Arby's had me puffing up like a puffer fish. But listen to this. This is the coolest thing. Okay, you ready? I love when the needles do that. I love that. And she really sounds good. Here's a clue to the former owner. Yeah. A little Tejano music. But look, she will clean up. Does it even have a tow hitch? Yeah. She does Seven have a tow hitch? And everything back there. Okay. So she's, she's, ready. All, she's ready to go. It says service airbag. Who cares about airbags? Those. I most... Do it was I, in a front end collision. Okay. Before, so they probably just didn't fix it. Yeah. And you have a fancy code reader that'll read all the codes on this thing. That's what I was pushing and I couldn't get the thing to open. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Running boards? Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh that scared the crap out of me. Ah! Me too, man. Holy moly. Okay, watch. When Hold you on. push this button, well you get one too. See watch. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit yours. Here comes yours. Except mine. Yours doesn't work. <laughs> okay, you ready? Watch. Yeah, that's what hit me and scared the crap out of me. How cool is that though? Yeah, get in the kids, get in the car kids. Time for soccer. Yeah. Whack them all. So, I'm really tempted. I'm just kind of learning about this whole GM product. Have I ever had a GM? I had a Buick Riviere. That's the only GM car that I've ever owned. But I love the colors. I don't like where the dash is kind of separating right here. No, that's no a common. Yeah. Books. Books. All kinds of stuff on the radio. Backup camera. Oh! Okay. Box. There we go. We don't have That's, those anymore, but yeah. it's there. Well, all my cars are kind of rigged for Bluetooth with different kind of little adapters and stuff. But I like this car. I could I could rock this. So the auction's going on right now. Do I win? Do I not? Well, <laughs> you got to find out. What do you think? Should I pull the trigger? I don't know. I should probably see how much money I have before that. But there you go. 07 Cadillac Escalade. He's twisting my arm. Bye bye girl. And now for something completely different. I love me some 5 Series. I do. Mm. Randy does not. Why don't you like these? Because you just walked away from a perfectly good Chevy uh -huh. to come look at a BMW. Yeah. Yes. I it was a Chevy, a beige Chevy Silverado four-door pickup. Everybody I fell asleep one. looking at it. <laughs> well, I love it. I got to admit, the BMW looks pretty cool, though. I, I, I like, like the these headlights. Cars. I like yeah. it. The only thing, you have to get the uh, like the intake pecan shell. Have you heard that? No. The intake, the way the fuel goes in and everything, you have to, they shoot pecan shells into it to clean it out. What? Yeah. It's a way to clean it out. It's Yeah, it's a thing for these cars. Now, I didn't do it for the one I had because it was good. It didn't didn't need to be done. But for some reason, these are so cheap and they end up here. And I don't know why. I like them. 
they drive good. They have that stupid eye drive that drives everybody crazy, but it made sense to me. This is a different color. She got rear-ended or something. They backed into something. She got rear-ended twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like the wheels. I like the wheels. The interior is usually us us is usually a lot better than this. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. She's she's had it tough too. Why are we finding all these oh. cars that people just don't take care of? I don't know. I don't understand it. Even my crappiest cars, yeah. I keep them clean and I take care of them. It's, it's, it's just the disposable generation. They just don't, they just don't clean anything. They just, well, how many people can I? Oh, he's breaking. I went to grab the door it's handle. It's already broken. It's already broken. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, they had dogs. They were dog lovers. Yeah. We see why it's totaled. Wow. Okay. Man. But they're so good to drive. And the faster you go, the better they drive. I love it. But I hate it. I hate this one. This is bad. What are the odds? It's not oh, going to do anything. It's not, it's not doing anything. No lights are on or anything. So this is a start, not a drive. Yeah, she's a deader. You want me to boost it? No, because she's dead. I can boost it. I don't want to waste your battery boost. We're, we're almost done. This is, this is sad. Sure you don't want it? I'm sure. Bet we'll just show you the... Cheaper. Yeah, but this is... You put so much elbow grease into it. I like the color, though. It's kind of a newish. Oh, hell. This is your deal, not mine. It used to be right down, like, in here, right? Probably missing. Oh, oh. right there. Oh, wow. Okay. They don't even have the cover for it or anything. Yeah. And there's all kinds of stuff in there. Leaves and everything. And no room to work on anything. Nope. You got to take this whole back section here apart to get oh. to anything yeah. back there. Or at least you used to. I don't know if that's how it still is. Yep. The coils, though, these are levers. You just yep. pop those up and pull them off. The, uh, the Bummer Beamer had those, and I got some from China, and they, they didn't last very long. <laughs> that is going to do it for another walk around video. I just had to run back there and look at this old Mercedes. You know, it was calling my name, and when I got there, it said, shut up, get away. It was all beat up. Okay, thanks to this guy. See him right there? Yeah, you know him. Randy with Auto Auction Rebuilds. He lets me come out here and kind of tag along and we have fun it's good stuff we're changing the name i'm out of breath what are we changing it to auto auction resurrects oh. auto auction refresh refresh auto auction rehab i like that i like that one. i do i like that i gotta change the name i got to we ain't rebuilding nothing yeah. when i do nobody watches refresh auto auction rehab rehab i don't know because well, who, who doesn't need her little rehab all right thanks for watching go check him out you know who he is come check me out Wait, you already did. You're watching my channel. Ah! Bye, everybody! <laughs>